And, you know, there are times when we even have everything we need and we still suffer in terms of our health, in terms of, our, you know, in terms, God forbid, of our kids, in terms of, um, you know, different aspects of our life, finances, marriages, um, you know, and we feel like we have the money, but it cannot buy exactly what we really need. Hello Limprim Pass and welcome back to another episode of Lara DJ's Limprim. It's all about God is in control playlist today. So if you haven't been following along, the playlist that I started recently, God is in control, is about me opening up my heart and um, growing with God, so to say. I found this book in my um, little library, God is in control, written by Charles Stanley. And I couldn't remember how the book got on my shelf. I don't remember buying it. Maybe I did, or maybe someone gifted it to me. I can't remember. But what got my attention back to this book on my shelf and I decided to study it more is the fact that it has um, information about how to find uh, an unshakable peace in the midst of life's storms. And you know that living this life there's a lot of storms that you have to overcome there's a lot of storms that you will hear about there's a lot of storms that you will be maybe introduced to there's a lot of storms that a lot of people are going through and hopefully you know going through this book we might get some information that will help us in finding an unshakable peace as the book has said an unshakable peace in this time of storm. As you all know, COVID is a storm that we are all going through together right now because of the pandemic. A lot of people are finding it hard to get through this storm. This book is very appropriate at this time. It's written by Charles Stanley, God is in control, an unshakable peace in the midst of life's storms. So if you want to follow us, um, I'm going to take a snippet you know, like pictures of the text and I'll put it on the screen. You can follow us that way. And if you want to go ahead and buy the book, I'm not sure, I have to check how much it is, but it's right here that it's um, $15 from United, you know, from the US, it's $15 if you want to buy it. I'm not sure if it's on um, Amazon, but what else is not on Amazon? So I'm sure this is on Amazon if you want to check it out, $15. At the time I bought this book, I think, and um, I hope it's less if you, if you want to um, buy the book. So we are on page 14 right now. We're going to do page 14 and page 15. And I'm going to start. The chapter we are on is God is in everything. So if you want to check out this playlist, definitely check it out. Um, this is episode four of this playlist. And if you're hearing some noise in the back, that that's my kids. Um, I'm trying to record in the daytime. Most of the time I've been recording at night and it has been messing up with my sleep cycle and it was messing me up mentally and physically. So if you hear any noise in the background, it's them. Please forgive me. So I'm going to start with um, the reading right now. None of us like to suffer and we have a right to say, God, I don't like it. I don't understand why. We can argue with him, tell him exactly how we feel. Just let him know. Father, I don't like anything about this. I feel it's unfair, it's unjust. Go ahead and tell him. Open up your heart. He fully understands. It's okay to cry. It's natural to weep. Tell God, I'm weak. I failed. Confess to him, I've sinned. He understands when you say, God, I just can't handle some things. Never think Christians don't cry. Remember, Jesus cried. Never say Christians can't show weakness. Paul said, when I feel as if the bottom has dropped out and I don't feel an ounce of energy, strength, or resistance within me, then I experience the mighty grace of my almighty God. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. This was paraphrased. You know, naturally, I'm going to be breaking this down according to my experiences according to how i view life talking about peaceful living in this chaotic world if 
this has inspired you to, you know, uh, make a comment about this text that I've, that I've just read, definitely make a comment in the comment section. Would love to hear about you, how God is in your everything. You know, definitely leave a comment, like, share, share. You can share this video as well for others who you think might benefit from watching this video. All right, so no, none of us like to suffer. Who likes to suffer? In this day and age, a lot of us want money, 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 money. We want to be comfortable because money buys a lot of things that will make us comfortable. So none of us like to suffer. When we go through things that make us question if God is still there for us, it's, it hurts. It definitely hurts and we look for God for answers. You know, why is this happening? Why is this happening? In those times, the text we just read is saying it's okay for us to say, God, I don't like this. It hurts. It really hurts. It's okay to say, it's okay to tell God how we really feel. Because I, I feel like it's in those times when we genuinely say how we feel that God really, really shows up for us. I know even Jesus said, um, oh God, God, why have thou forsaken me on the cross? It's in that time that God truly shows who he is. So if you are at a point in your life where you feel it's over i think uh, this this is going to be this is going to be a reminder video for you this is going to be a reminder to hold on in this day and age where everything is about money 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 how we can get money how we can be successful you know how we can make shortcuts and get there quick it's very um you know it's it, it, it's uh, what's the word it's very very challenging it's very challenging to go through these times especially when we don't have anything and when we are looking for help and we are looking for assistance you, you know just for basic basic amenities so just like it says here none of us like to suffer nobody wants to suffer but if you find yourself in a situation where things are really tough just hold on and you know there are times when we even have everything we need and we still suffer in terms of our health in terms of our you know in terms, God forbid, of our kids, in terms of, um, you know, different aspects of our life, finances, marriages, um, you know, and we feel like we have the money, but it cannot buy exactly what we really need. So in this time, I believe it's okay to say, God, I don't, I don't like anything about this. I feel it's unfair. You you know, you feel it's unjust. Tell God exactly how you feel. And you know, you see that God's hand will come into that situation that you're going through. It's okay to cry. It's natural to weep. Tell God I'm weak. I failed. You know, confess to him. You know, tell him exactly um exactly what is going on. I've sinned. Um, you know. I, I just can't understand some things and I just can't undo some things. In our honesty, I feel, you know, God doesn't look at what we have done. He doesn't look at, oh, you've done this and you've done this. You've, you've helped this person. You, he doesn't look at all of that. He looks at our heart, right? So when he sees that you're really heartbroken from the bottom of your soul, I believe that's when God um, comes into your situation. Never say Christians can't show weakness. Paul said, when I feel as if the bottom has dropped out and I don't feel one ounce of energy, strength, or resistance within me, then, then I experience the mighty grace of the almighty God. So I think this is a reminder to us all that when we feel we are weak, when we should be strong, when we feel like we have no energy to do anything, you know, it's okay. Just relax, talk to God. Um, tell him how you're feeling and you will see that God will show up in your case. God will show up in your situation. All right. So, you know, just a little reminder and a little um, encouragement from Lara today to you. And I hope that this has blessed you in some sort of way. At the end of the day, you want to love your neighbors as yourself and um, to rest in peace. We all need to be living in peace. And always remember that to rest in peace in God, hopefully, that we all need to start living in peace. Thank you. Stay blessed and you'll see me in my next one. Bye. you see me in my next one. Uh, uh, uh. See me in my next one. Uh, uh, uh. See me in my next one. you see me in my next one. Bye.